What's going on guys? Bringing you a little different video here today. I want to show you Arctic Cat Extreme Snowmobile Racing. This is on iOS and Android. If you first log in, you might be presented with this wheel. You can spin this wheel every like 15 or 16 hours or so and get free coins and free globe shakes. You probably don't know what those are, but I'll show you. You just have to watch like a 30 second ad to do it again and again. And you can do it up to five times if that makes sense. But you see I have a 35 day streak here. You know, I've been doing this for a long time absolutely love this game you know then they got the newsletter settings and uh, I don't know I think you can like sync with Facebook or something I haven't done that yet uh, so if the app gets deleted from my phone I'm pretty sure all my progress is lost but I'm living on the edge here so I'm gonna jump right and do some gameplay uh, so there's all these different tracks this is Thief River Falls Minnesota and you see we have different challenges uh, but we'll get to that in a second I'm just gonna do some gameplay here see how it goes We landed on the bridge. That bridge can actually break if you hit it hard enough in the right spot. And so what you're seeing here is me crashing. Um, <laughs> that was really bad. Uh, but I'm using a character called Major Tom and he kind of floats through the air when you crash. That's why we went so far after crashing. I was also using the snow bike, which I'll get to in a second. Uh, but you see, we didn't complete any challenges. And if we did, they would be highlighted green. We would earn some coins and then they would be replaced with a new challenge. But you see, it holds your record for the current course you're on and how you did in that run. So some pretty cool stats there. And so I mentioned globe shakes earlier. That is this guy here. This is how you can unlock skins for your sleds and different characters and so it normally costs 100 coins you see I have 57 out of 80 the 80 number will actually change as you unlock more stuff because certain stuff doesn't unlock until you have the item like for sled skins you have to unlock sleds and if you don't have the sled unlocked then you can't get the skins and it doesn't count towards that total if that makes any sense at all so eventually you know as you get more and more stuff it could get insanely hard to get that one or two missing pieces but none of the pieces are really like necessary for gameplay or anything it's not like pay to win or anything like that not like a crazy abusive crate system it's just some fun to get some free stuff different stuff and so then in the left the right side but the bottom left you see where it says next and it has a countdown uh, that's your free gift you can just kind of tap that and get free coins every like I think that's like every 15 hours as well you see I, I must have done it like a 11 hours ago because whatever it's at like four hours now then you can also watch an ad on the bottom right where it's you know blinking shining whatever I'm gonna skip that right now since I can't show ads since they are copyrighted can't show them on YouTube videos we'll show you the sleds here so this is a SVX 450 the snow bike uh, one of the most expensive one of the best sleds in the game if you can even call it a sled when it's a snow bike um, <laughs> But we have all different skins. I have every skin unlocked except for one for this guy. You see they are, you know, a little bit comical. I'm just a fan of the realistic type of stuff. You know, even though this is like a 2D game, you know, graphics aren't anything special, but the sleds look really cool. I mean, this is like a, just like a, a real life picture of a sled here. So, um, you know, definitely something I enjoy about the game. And then you can upgrade each sled, but it's not any insane process. There's just three star levels and it costs different amount of coins for each sled, depending on which sled you have. Uh, like here going two stars to three stars is 3,000 or 4,000. Going one star to two stars, 2,000 there on the top. Uh, so just some examples. And that sled is partially upgraded. Then quick look at all the sleds here. Uh, this is your starter, the Lynx 2000. I do have all the skins for this guy. Some of these are pretty cool. That one's kind of cool. I don't know. I kind of like the default. Um, <laughs> but if you go to upgrades, you see I did max this one out so you can no longer upgrade it. Obviously, you can see the stats and kind of compare them back and forth. You know, they generally get a little better as you go to the right. Um, I think overall, I think this guy is the best. If you look at the stats here, and then go to the snow bike. I think the snow bike's only gonna be better on climbing. But overall, I think this will be the best sled. And you see it says Opland location required. That means you have to buy the track. Uh, so I did unlock most of the tracks, but you got a bunch of different locations here. You can switch to each of them at any time. And your challenges will vary from course to course. Uh, but you see like that one's 5,500 coins to unlock. And 
there's Opland, Norway. Once we unlock this track for 7,000 coins, we can buy that sled. It won't give us that sled, but it will unlock it and make it available for purchase. You know, I'd imagine it'll cost a good, you know, 7,500, 8,000 coins. And it does take a bit of time to save up, but no reason uh, you can't play this game completely free. Uh, so I'll show you a different track. We'll go to Upper Peninsula. And when I changed tracks, I kind of got flooded with an ad. You know, you do get flooded with a lot of ads. I can't remember if there's like a pro version you can buy. Um, these are some of the different characters here. You see there's some more like comical ones and there's some more like realistic ones I guess. I'll go with this guy Snow Camo Orange. Some of them have different boosts which could be useful. Like that Major Tom in my first run when I fell. You know if I fall with this guy here you'll see the difference. But we're on a different track here so you see we have slightly different challenges. We'll just go for it. See what we can do. Keep in mind this is one of the best sleds in the game. Uh, so when you're starting, you're gonna be going a lot slower. It's gonna be a lot different experience. Um, but, you know, it's I think it's necessary to kind of fine tune your skills. The controls do take a little bit of time to get used to since you basically tap the right side to hit the gas and you also hold the right side to spin backwards like that. And then, if you tap the left side while you're holding the right side and you're in contact with the ground, you will bunny hop like this. See, we just hopped over that snowman. Um, and then if you stop holding the right side and you hold the left side, you will, try not to crash here, you will, um, you'll start spinning forwards. And so that's a little counterintuitive in the air. You know, you almost, my natural inclination when I started this game was to tap the right side to spin forward and tap the left side to lean back. Um, I just, it took me the longest time to kind of break that, that mindset, that habit, I guess. And, but now, you know, I'm really pretty comfortable in the game. Um, you know, this is obviously not my best run. I'm kind of more focusing on the commentary here and just seeing what we can do. I also haven't played this track in a long time. The tracks are a lot different. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun, you know, just endless, single-player fun, 2D game. Um, I don't know, if you like uh, motocross, snowmobile racing, snowcross, whatever, um, you know, any fun sports like that, I think it might be a game that you would enjoy. I know probably a lot of the people that watch my channel probably won't enjoyed that much maybe you will I don't know let me know in the comments below um, but you know I've definitely gotten a little bit of addicted to this game I guess at some point I'll have everything unlocked and there won't really be a point to play anymore um, so I guess when that day comes I'll really have no problem putting it down but um, See there, we just ended a run by falling into a pit. We got one more to go for that challenge. <laughs> but yeah, that was a decent run, I guess. 4,000 meters, my record is 6,800 on that track. And so, yeah, I think, you know, that's a pretty good overview of the app. I'm gonna be back with some more gameplay. You know, I kind of showed you an overview of the app, spent a lot of time doing that, but you know, I could do a lot more fun runs and stuff. So leave a like if you did enjoy it. And if you want me to post more of this snowmobile racing game, it's a lot of fun. It's Arctic Cat Extreme Snowmobile Racing on iOS. And I believe it's just Arctic Cat Snowmobile Racing on Android without the extreme. But either way, you should be able to find it really easily. So, you know, if you want to download it, you know, feel free to, uh, obviously feel free to do that, but but also feel free to join my discord there's a link in the description below i do have a lobby for this game you know i'm not expecting anyone to have any crazy like info or anything or like whatever it is a single player game but you know if you want to join and get some news or share some news about arctic cat snowmobile racing you can join that lobby hopefully you enjoyed this video a little something different and check out my other videos on my channel and as always i'll catch you on the next video